You build me up like building blocks just so you can break me down. You put a fever inside me. And I've been cold since you left. Alphabet boy. Jump starting your car. Hi guys, I hope you're having an awesome day so far. This video is going to be a new type of video for me and it's going to be a review. And I want to do more of these types of reviews of sort of cheaper um, fashion stores. So today is going to be uh, focusing on, I'm going to be focusing on Ego Shoes. I don't know if you all have heard of this um, store, but basically it's an online shoe store in the UK and they have really cheap shoes and really cheap sort of knockoffs of, um, of sort of designer shoes or shoes that are really in right now. So yeah, uh, for example, they had the, um, the Gucci Prince Town uh, loafers, I think they're called the ones, the black, they are black leather and fur on the inside. So they have a knockoff of those and um, I haven't purchased those. I purchased two other pairs of shoes actually to uh, film for a next how to style video for you guys. But I thought it would be fun to, um, to sort of do a short little review of this store as well because I know a lot of people and myself included often look at YouTube for reviews of cheap online clothing stores just to see what the quality is like um, and if the clothes are worth the price. Anyway, I'm babbling on. Let's just get into it. I'm going to show you guys the shoes I've got, discuss both shoes and then tell you if I think it was worth my money. Okay, <laughs> so I got two pairs of shoes. Let me first show you how they are packaged. Um, I got them in a shoe box, both um, sort of a finished um, shoe box. I'm sure it's different if you order like a boot or something, but these two pairs came in a finished box and it came in this um, ego um, bag and it was shipped to me uh, and it arrived I think like in two days or the next day which is quite impressive because I live in the Netherlands so they did have to ship it internationally so that was definitely a positive about them but that being said I did pay six pounds for shipping and that is quite a lot of money especially if you think now that a lot of stores do international free shipping so yeah I think they do do free shipping over 50 pounds in the UK and over 70 pounds to the US and Australia so you can get free shipping I couldn't get free shipping and I paid six pounds for international shipping now let's talk about the shoes the first pair I got was a full price pair and I saw these at Revolve for $150 and I think um, one of the higher end brands also did a version of the shoe um, I think it's Valentino but I'm not sure and um, the idea of this was really great um, it's these uh, loafers and they have got um, big metal studs and sort of a woven um, leather black leather type material obviously it's not leather it's fake leather and yeah these looked really fun and I've been wanting these shoes for quite a while. Now, when I got them, I was a little less impressed than I hoped I would be. Um, I don't really like the shape of this shoe. I think they could have done a lot better designing this shoe. Uh, let me show you what, I, um, what I'm talking about. The uh, bottom part of the shoe is very, very wide and I don't know why they did this and it's really a shame because otherwise it is a really great shoe. It's just way too wide for my feet and I feel like it looks like those um, Adidas or Nike slides and that's not the look I'm going for when I order this type of shoe. So I was a little bit disappointed, I'll be honest, and um, I paid, let me tell you guys, I think I paid... Um, 25 pounds for this pair of shoe so that's not a lot of money but that's still it's not like 10 pounds you know what I mean it's still 25 pounds which works out to I think um, 30 euro so nah, would I order again would I order these shoes if I knew they looked like this 
Probably not. I would have just saved my money and bought the more expensive pair and then at least I know, well at least I think those uh, fit would have fit a lot nicer. So I mean if you're looking for a really cheap sort of knock off and you are willing to compromise then this is a great option but I would rather spend more money and have something that fits the way I want to fit and that I can wear for a longer time because I really love the shoe. So yeah, that's basically my little review of this shoe. Is it worth the money? Not really. So that's what I have to say about that pair of shoes. Uh, moving on to the next pair, I got these um, little, I don't know what you call these, espadrilles. Yeah, they are um, by Ego's own brand and they were on sale, so I only paid £10 for them. Um, yeah, what can I say? First of all, the shoe is a lot better, I think, than the other shoe. I like the shape. It's just a normal foot shape or shoe shape. Normal, not too, um, too wide. Uh, the material isn't that great. It's a little bit flimsy and the studs are also very obviously plastic. But for £10, I mean, what do you expect, to be honest? <laughs> but otherwise, it fits fine, it looks alright, it doesn't look fab fabulous, but I don't think these type of shoes ever really look super fabulous because it is in itself quite a flimsy little shoe. So, but I think they could have done a better job with the strap, as uh, mainly the strap actually, because the buckle is extremely flimsy, thin little metal thing, and uh, yeah, the, the um, band and the loop also aren't very uh, sturdy that the band goes through. And another little thing that I noticed with this is the holes for the, um, for the uh, buckle aren't evenly spaced and also there's one that's a little bit off to the bottom, not something that necessarily bothers me. I'm not like super OCD about that stuff. But still, and on the other shoe also they are, because the uh, holes aren't evenly spaced, I have uh, two holes left on the one side where I have no holes left, holes left on the other side. So they don't fit the same way on around both ankles. I would say the one strap, because of the uneven holes, is a little bit uh, bigger than the other one. But if I hold them next to each other, Indeed, the one is longer than the other one. So that is a little bit odd, like they could have made it at least symmetrical. So my sort of final um, judgment, that sounds very serious, of these shoes is, are they worth the money? I would say because they were marked down to 10 pounds, I do think they were worth the money because they do look cute and they are sort of an on-trend style right now and they don't, fit horribly. Now they are cheap material, they don't fit great, but that's something you can expect when you pay £10 for a pair of shoes. Would I have paid full price for the shoe when they were 25? I think they were 20 or 25. No, I would definitely not have paid full price for the shoe. So that still sort of brings my final judgment into that it's not really worth it unless you buy on sale. I didn't buy high heels for them from them and I wouldn't after I've received these two pairs of shoes just because I think they would be horribly uncomfortable. I'm not used to wearing heels plus heels uh, sort of need to be comfortable to be able to wear them the whole day so I wouldn't buy heels for them. They do sell from them. They do sell a whole lot of heels but yeah. So my final overall judgment of Ego shoes is is it worth the money? No, not really, unless you buy something on sale or it is already extremely cheap. But do expect when you receive your shoes for the quality to be not that great. Okay, so kind of a negative video, but I'm just trying to give you guys my honest opinion. I've seen sort of girls talk about ego shoes a lot on uh, the Facebook group I'm in and on YouTube. And I know maybe sometimes some of you haven't yet ordered there and you go to YouTube to look for sort of an honest review of the shop before you put your money there. So sort of I'm here to tell you guys 
should you or shouldn't you spend your money of course it's up to you in the end but my review my end judgment is that these shoes aren't really worth the money so just save your money and spend it on something a little bit more expensive and then at least you know that the shoes will be up to par as far as quality is concerned okay so that's all i have to say about ego shoes i hope you guys like this video despite it being a little bit negative and if you did please like and comment down below and if you haven't yet please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video